I got a cat. And his name is Kato. And he's about 10 to 11 years old. I adopted a senior cat from the cat emergency shelter. I wanted someone I can give lots of my love and care, but I didn't want a real baby. So I thought a cat would be a great solution. And due to some circumstances, I ended up with the phone number of a cat emergency rescue shelter. They asked me if I'm willing to give an older cat with not the best health conditions a home. And a few weeks later, I had a new roommate. And his rescuer told me his story, which is actually very sad. Yeah. Hello and welcome. I'm Sarah Erb. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to talk to you about my cat and his story and why we should all give old animals a chance for a forever home. Kato used to have a home for seven years until his family moved to a new apartment where he wasn't able to go outside anymore. So he escaped and his family said they tried to catch him but they failed so they just left him outside and got themselves some new kittens. Meanwhile, Kato was living on the streets for four years. Luckily, he was regularly fed by a very friendly neighbor not far away. She noticed that Kato was losing weight while still eating a lot, so they had to catch him and took him to the vet. They found out Kato was in serious health conditions and needs to be treated with meds regularly and right now. His rescuer told me his family knew about his health conditions because they are neighbors by the way. Kato was found with 3.1 kg and the rescue team treated him so well until he was 5.2 kg and gave him to me. The first night he was very shy and he hid under the heater and due to my mistake he tried to escape over the balcony which was very exciting for both of us. <laughs> But the second day he got curious and left his safe place. He showed zero aggression, mostly more needy in company and first impression was a traumatized cat but he's very attached to humans and very trustfully. He uses a litter box and isn't destroying my furniture. Some benefits of adopting an adult cat. By the way, I have to tell you something about Kato's rescue team, Connie's Notfällchen Hilfe. It's a, it's a cat emergency rescue organization. If people find stray cats on the streets, they can call Connie's Notfällchen Hilfe for help. They catch the cats and take them to the vet and make sure to find a forever home for them. So if you're interested in helping to check out their website. Kato and I are truly bonding a human and cat relationship pretty fast. After a few weeks he showed off more of his authentic personality and he's really trying to communicate with me a lot. He's very talkative but his spirit is very calm in general. We already do a lot together because it's just me and him most of the time so... <laughs> We sleeping, eating together, making music together, doing yoga and watching Netflix, chasing birds at least. I'm the one who's chasing birds in this household.
Thank you, Kato. Whenever he is mad for any reason, if you give him a treat, he forgets that he was mad. He's friendly to my friends and likes to meet new people. Kato loves to wake me up in the morning and he is super cuddly. He is literally a dream cat and I'm so lucky I found a super cutie dream cat through Connie's Notfältchen Hilfe. So please don't forget to check their website and if you're looking to support them or just maybe even adopt a cat, free to check them out and do something good. Yeah, that's my experience with adopting an adult cat. I hope I could inspire you to adopt a cat that already needs a home instead of buying new kittens. Anyways, thank you for watching till the end. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and goodbye from Kato and I.